Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be adjusting our mesh to make sure it is 3D printable and that these little overhanging spaces are not too steep for our 3D printers. Um, I'm trying to get you to be able to print this with no, no rafts and no supports. Um, so that's the goal here. Um, this one's already been adjusted, so we kind of sloped it in, and these have been pointed up a little bit as well. But I want to show you a cool way to do that with some blender tools for kind of like a mesh analysis. And it's all in real time, so let's go ahead and jump on in it. Let's do file, and we can just open our last saved one. So I just opened up our draft 10 and let's save as, and we can call this draft 11. All right, and so first thing we wanna do is just go and take our dog head into edit mode. And once you're in edit mode, you can go into your overlay drop down here and we want to turn on mesh analysis. And notice when we do that, this new box or just piece of information appears and we can do this for a few different types of things. So today we're going to just use it for overhangs and that's to see where we need support material. Uh, we can do it for thickness, you can do it for intersections, you can do it for distortions in your geometry or if things are too sharp. So it's very helpful for 3D printing uh, or 3D print design. So like I said, we're just going to use overhangs. Uh, so we're just going to set it to 45 degrees. And what's cool is we can actually look around our object and now see in real time, kind of the steepness. I mean, you can see it with your eyes, obviously, but you know, when you're first starting out, sometimes you may not be able to see it or you may not notice it. So this is a good way to check. We can also turn off our mirror just for a second. Just toggle that off. So we can even see the inside of our dog head here. Maybe the ear needs to go. It's a little, you know, it probably would print, but you know, just to be sure we can kind of see these and adjust them. So let's start adjusting. So we can grab this little point here, just hit two. Maybe just grab that. And we're gonna put these 3D cursor right here. So shift S and do cursor to selected right there. And then we can change this right to 3D cursor. Another way to do that is just press period on your keyboard, not on your numpad, and you can also get it there. So let's just go ahead and maybe rotate this face right here. So I'll just switch to face mode. We've got our cursor and let's even turn on some proportional editing and we're just going to rotate this on the X axis. And notice as we move this, I'm gonna kind of just move it around back and forth. You can see, you know, as it gets more steep, it's getting more red. And, you know, it's getting, it's just showing us that there's more of a need for supports. Uh, but as we kind of move it up, you can see it goes away. And that's what we want. So you want it to go away or just be pretty green. You know, this one's pretty good, uh, but we could make it a little better. So we could even just switch this back and maybe grab this edge right here, the top of this. And we want this green part to just be a little more steep, you know, so we'll just hit G and Z and just kind of bring that on up. Notice we have our proportional editing. So I'm just gonna hit escape, hit O to turn that off like that. Just hit O, then we'll toggle it on and off and we can do G and Z and we'll just move that up until that kind of disappears. And notice if I go too far, it's starting to turn blue again. So we can just bring it back down. There we go. So now it's nice and looks just like the other ones. We're just getting some of the steepness to go away. You can also bring edges down. So I'm gonna grab this edge here and do G and Z and just bring it straight down. Notice it's getting a little less steep. Now it's getting a little, there we go. So I just pull that down until it starts to kind of level out. And we can even do the same thing here. And that's what's really cool. You can kind of like reposition your mesh before we go into kind of the more advanced type things, which are sculpting and all that. So we're just gonna kind of even these two out. So I'm just doing G and Z and bringing that down till we get so something like that. It's gonna be a little easier for our printer. Maybe even take this one and go G and Z and bring it up just a little bit. There we go. So I'm happy with that. And just try and, you know, just look around your design if you're doing something different and just make sure you don't have anything that's like red or maybe this yellow part, you know, maybe need come down just a little bit so we can grab the top of the head there. Go ahead and save. And we'll just do G and Z. Kind of bring that down until it's a little less steep. There we go. That's looking better. Maybe you can grab some of these. Maybe GG and kind of bring that back a little bit. Just kind of space these two out. 
And I think this part right here would print fine, but just to for just to kind of show the color change and what you can do with your designs, we're just gonna bring that up ever so slightly. There we go. Maybe this one too. So that's the challenge really just for this lesson. is just make sure none of your your curves on your design are too steep that they would need uh, supports. Because I want this essentially for you to be able to print with no rafts and no supports. It just kind of appears off the print bed. We may have a support for our inside spindle here, but you know, not one that's all up inside of our model. It's just a, uh, you know, very minimal uh, as much as we can, you know, just to kind of help the printer and use less material. And it's just cooler to be able to print something and then just it pop off your print bed. So this one here, we're gonna go, you see how this is a little yellow here and we're kind of seeing this weird cut on our geometry. That's because we have the thumb hole turned on. So we can just toggle that off for a second. Now we can really see, you know, kind of what's going on here. Um, so I'm just grabbing this outer edge and do G and Z and just bring that down until it's not as steep. You can also do this in side view. This is what I do a lot of times is just kind of look at the steepness of certain angles. Um, you can see with the grid behind, you know, you can kind of see that, you know, if it's a 45 degree or not. So really we're looking at this steep angle right here. We could even bring this one up, this one right here. G and Z. And then, you know, always make, look to the side, make sure everything's looking okay. Maybe even bring this one in. I'm just do control three. Let's go to our side view. Maybe do G and Y. So we're just kind of massaging, you know, anything that needs help. And all that looks pretty good. We may have this one here. It's a little too steep. So we can do G and Z. And you can even keep this on, you know, while you're doing your initial base modeling. So notice here, we've got pretty steep uh, point right there. So we can take that one and just go to side view. And actually that one in the down here, this one um, right there, will actually be okay because we're gonna we're gonna erase that with our, our thumb boolean. So that's okay. We can just turn that back on. Notice it's gone. So that's it. That is all gravy. And so once you're done kind of changing the, the steepness of your your faces and edges and points, then you can just turn your mirror back on and we can go back into object mode with tab. And so we've lost our dog design. So let's just go to our multi-res. Maybe drop that down to one and two. So it looks like we're getting some, something has messed up in our overall mesh here. So it's probably somewhere in the mouth where we were kind of moving things just now. And there we go. So that looks like it brought it back. Just kind of looking inside here, if there's anything causing any issues. So that's looking pretty good. Another thing we could do is look at our little leash holder guys here. So let's just go into edit mode on those. And so we've got a little bit of blue steepness right here, but I don't think it's gonna be anything too terrible or that the printer can't handle. Let's go ahead and go back to object mode. So now let's select the bottom leash and we just duplicated off this one, so it should be the same, but let's go into edit mode and just check the steepness right here. And as you design more and more, you'll start to just, you know, kind of feel or know or be able to really just see at a glance if something is gonna be 3D printable, um, also by just depending on your certain printer. Uh, but again, that's just a tiny little bit there. I don't think we're gonna have any problem. Uh, but we can always adjust if it ever, you know, if it starts drooping or anything. But I'm happy with that. So good job if you, uh, you know, made all the adjustments to your dog. So that can be easily 3D printed with no extra supports necessary. And let's go ahead and dive into the next lesson.